Hello, this is Jennifer Hensel from Marketing Motivator, and today I would like to talk with you about sorting a spreadsheet. In today's digital world, we are all having to work with more and more data. Whether you are a business owner or frontline support staff, working with contact data in spreadsheets and sorting that data into segmented lists is becoming an essential marketing skill. There are many reasons why we need to move our data from one application to another. For example, for my workshops, I collect the data at the workshop, and then right after the workshop, I will enter their data into Constant Contact or Infusionsoft so that I can follow up with each attendee and send them the tools and resources I promised. Setting up your spreadsheet for sorting. Before you sort a spreadsheet, you have to ensure that it's set up properly. Working with contact data in a spreadsheet is different than working with spreadsheets, say for financial purposes, where you may have some highlighting and colors and other identifying sections throughout the spreadsheet. With contact data, we just want a very plain format. The only part that should be formatted is the column headers, which should be bold. All the other text should be very plain with no formatting. First, enter your column headers. These should be planned out even before you start collecting your contact data. Here you can see we collect the first name, last name, company, phone number, and email address. Just a tip, don't ever leave the line or the row right under the column headers blank. While there may be some cells throughout your spreadsheet that are empty, try to have your first row all filled in for each of the columns. Also, never have more data than there are columns. Don't enter any data in columns that are beyond your column headers, as that may prevent the sorting function from working also. Okay, now that our data is entered, let's sort it. Sorting your contact data. Click the upper left-hand corner of the screen where the letters and numbers intersect to select the entire sheet. Now from the menu, click Data, then Sort. A new window will pop up. Select from the drop-down menu the column that you want to sort by. Here we will select first name and then click OK in the bottom right. Now you can see the list is sorted by first name. That's the most common and basic thing that people use the sorting function for, to sort a list by first name. Another useful way to use this function is to segment your list for better targeting. Segmenting your list. In this example, let's say we want to split our list by city to give to different reps in our company. Let's sort the list first by city and then by first name. Again, click in the upper left-hand corner of the screen where the letters and numbers intersect to select the entire sheet. Now from the menu, click Data, then Sort. In this window, select from the drop-down menu the column that you want to sort by, which this time is city. Now in the same window, click the Add Level button in the top left area. A new row of options will appear. From the drop-down menu of the new row, select First Name. Click OK in the bottom right. Now, as you can see, the list is sorted first by city and second by first name. You can sort your list by any kind of category you like. You just have to have a column associated with the type of segmentation you are looking for. For example, maybe you want to have a column titled Status that indicates if a person is a potential existing or past customer. Then you can sort your list and split it up according to those groups. When setting up and sorting your list properly, you can then upload them to Constant Contact, Gmail, Infusionsoft, and many other applications. Check with your specific application to ensure that you are formatting the data according to any additional specifications that they may have. One last note, it's very important to be aware and adhere to any anti-spam laws in your country when collecting data, sorting data, and when communicating with your contacts. You always need to get their permission to send them information. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tip today. Today I showed you how to set up, sort, and segment your data. This skill will help you to be a more efficient and effective marketer. If you need help with collecting contact data in a compliant manner and using a professional system to more effectively reach and nurture your audience, please contact me today. My name is Jennifer Hensel and you can reach me at marketingmotivator.com.